and welcome to Procrastination Station, otherwise known as my YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Katie, I am a graduate student at Parsons School of Design, and I only have one week until the first deadline for my thesis, and it is nowhere near being completed. Coincidentally, I am also an ADHD graduate student, meaning that I really struggle with procrastination and task management, the executive functions, getting things done on time, you know, those things that make you successful in school. And um, also, this is where I opened my laptop to realize that I had left Twilight open on my, on my screen in a class that I share with the undergraduates that I teach. So uh, that's how my Monday morning was going. But anyways, this whole week was a, a practice in managing my ADHD so that I could attempt to hit that thesis submission deadline on time. Will she make it? Will she actually turn in her thesis on the day that it's due, given the fact that she also missed the deadline for a final in previous semesters of graduate school? That's up to you to stay tuned and find out. But given the fact that this Monday started off with an entire day full of classes and then getting home and not writing my thesis and instead taking a bath? Well, all I can say is things don't seem to be boding well for her, but you know what? Good for her for trying to take care of herself. I wish her luck in this procrastination-fueled thesis deadline crisis. I hope you enjoy watching this slow descent into madness, and welcome to the video. Filming this. Filming this, this is not going to be easy. James is playing video games with his cousins and he tends to get a little loud when that happens. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am home. Clearly I've had a bath and I was getting ready to go to bed, but it's only seven o'clock. It, it gets dark so fast outside that my brain was like, it's time for bed. But I have many hours before I can go to sleep without waking up at ungodly hours in the morning. I was reading this book called To Die For, um, D-Y-E as in die for clothing. This is like my quote unquote fun read when I'm not reading for school right now and it's about the um, toxic chemicals that are used in the dyeing process of manufacturing clothing. So it's a bit of a bummer, but I'm very close to finishing it, so I'm just trying to get through the last little bit of it. Anyways, um, I am home from my Monday classes. I'm usually prepping to teach course content for my TA class tomorrow, but we're getting to the point where my students are transitioning into working on their finals, so I don't have anything to prep because we're doing workshops in class. So I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening working on the course content like the readings for my wednesday classes and then also doing a peer review for theses which is as you heard in the voiceover the point of this video my first major deadline for actually having like a chunk of my thesis written is next monday i've recently just had a bit of a revelation a breakthrough with my thesis so i desperately need to overhaul my literature review and kind of reassess my introduction and what i'm trying to say how i'm framing my argument essentially so i have a peer review from one of my classmates that i need to look at and try to integrate those before I can change anything, and then I have to complete a peer review for that classmate as well. So I'm gonna spend the next couple of hours doing a little bit of that and prepping for Wednesday, and the rest of this week is just gonna be me writing my thesis. Um, I'm currently at 17 pages, so I have three more to go, but like I said, I have to completely overhaul my literature review, so it's gonna be a bit of a doozy. <laughs> but I'm gonna get cozy and spend the rest of the evening just doing a little bit of work. Cheers. morning. I'm a little bit frazzled today, but I have to show you my mug. It says F-U-C-K. Juvenile, I know, but I love it. Also, my bangs are at that like perfect length right now where they do like the cute little like curtain bang thing and I'm really here for it today. That's not what we're talking about. I'm a little frazzled this morning. I have to get a video finished for a brand deal. Um, it was supposed to be turned in yesterday and I did not do that. I have I had to finish filming a part of it today and so we're gonna turn it in today. But I need to finish editing what I just filmed and then I have to go to the city. I'm teaching. <sighs> 
it's fine. Next week I have like almost entirely off because of Thanksgiving, so it's fine. But I still have to finish writing my thesis. Look at the really, really pretty jewelry pieces that Anna Luisa sent me. I've actually gifted these earrings to both my mom and my mother-in-law and they both love them, so I was actually, I was very excited when these came in the mail. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get going on editing and uh, I have like, like an hour and a half to do this, which should be enough time, but you never know because it's me and something always goes wrong. <laughs> to the editing table! Which is just my desk, I don't know why I said that. Oh yeah, and everything's also a mess. The huge, the usual. It's just a typical when Wednesday? Nope, it's just a typical Tuesday. When isn't Katie stressed and scrambling to get things done last minute? She needs to sort out her priorities. most challenging parts of doing a master's thesis when you are ADHD is the fact that it requires just so much sustained attention, so much self-guided attention on things like reading and writing. I find that to be one of the hardest tasks, just simply getting myself to sit and think about the material before I actually have something to say about it, and being able to back it up with the research rather than just jumping straight into giving my opinion. You would think that with Wednesday being only five days away from the submission deadline, and given my anxiety around my introduction and my literature review, that I might have spent some time today in the library working on my thesis. Well, that's what I originally had in mind. I got dressed, I headed into the city, I had my little coffee. I was ready to get down to the work. Of course, first I did have my morning Wednesday class called Wardrobe Stories, which I really love. It's kind of like the philosophy of fashion studies, which I think is really interesting. It gives us a chance to kind of stretch our minds and think about fashion a little differently than I'm used to. Anyways, that's not the point. I was so ready to get work done on my thesis, but when I finally made my way into the library, sat down, pulled out my laptop, opened it, and started writing, guess what I didn't do? I most certainly did not work on my thesis. Instead, I was working on submitting an article to an academic journal for a publication, which is really exciting. It was one of the goals that I had for myself before I graduated with my master's degree. I wanted to have something in the works in publication. So that's really exciting and all, but I still didn't get any freaking work done on my thesis. Hello, we are in my classroom right now. Still haven't gotten used to that, and I'm out of breath because I just had to climb the stairs. We're on the 11th floor. I am exhausted. I am so sleepy today. I'm having a hard time like keeping my eyes open and I have spent so much faffing money on tea and coffee in the last couple of weeks, but it has also been so faffing cold outside that like if I want to be an even somewhat functioning human, I need something warm to drink. It's science. It is scientifically proven that I need a warm little drink to keep me going when it's cold outside. I'm about to jump into teaching. I'm gonna go like close my eyes for 30 seconds so that I have the energy to teach. And then I'm done for like a week for Thanksgiving break. And it could not come sooner. I know I have not talked about my thesis essentially at all this week so far, but I have a big meeting tomorrow that will help me I think with my literature search and my literature review, so I'm banking on that, but I'm gonna go and I'll see you at home.
Look at that beautiful color. That background looks quite nice, doesn't it? I'm quite proud of that. Good morning, it's Thursday, it's 9.30. I have a meeting for my thesis in about an hour, no, half an hour, not with my thesis advisor, but with a presenter from the conference over the weekend about the concept of an archive. I'm taking a new direction with my thesis. I don't know if I've already explained this or not, but if I haven't, here it goes. I was originally just kind of updating the literature on vintage in the American context because the scholarship, as far as my literature review, has shown me there's two clusters of publications in the 2000s and the 2010s, so it's been quite a while, like almost a decade since anyone's published on vintage, and a lot of it either takes place in Europe or in America, only in New York, at least as far as I can tell. So that's what I was originally planning on doing, and I... I didn't feel very grounded in what it was I was trying to say, so I haven't been feeling very good about my thesis because of that. But I went to this conference where we were talking about fashion archives, and I was really, really inspired by a presentation that one of my professors from my first semester gave, um, and I am now going to try and make the argument that the fashion, that the vintage fashion, like, marketplace can be seen or and should be seen as like a type of archive and that we need to kind of expand our understanding of an archive. So I'm meeting with this professor who has worked in archives and comes from a very non-traditional background so she kind of has a non-traditional approach to think about how I can approach my thesis a little differently and um, hopefully getting some recommendations for literature because my first big deadline is on Monday which is the first third of my thesis um, and I desperately need to read do my literature review. Um, I basically need to fix everything, but what really needs my attention is my lit review. So that's what we're doing. So I'm just gonna get settled in at my desk, um, send some emails, and go to my meeting. And then we have the writing group later today with my friends. Um, so yeah. heading into my meeting soon. I have my handy dandy notebook, also known as my thesis notebook, um, or my thesis journal here to take notes with. If you haven't seen this before, it is a notebook that is divided into a bunch of different sections. I have my thesis guide, which is like the, the schedule for the thesis that the program gives us, brain dump for when I have thoughts. I also have a typed document, um, which I find a little bit easier to do because I have um, chronic pain and tendonitis in this arm. So sometimes handwriting isn't really conducive. Um, I have my field notes and then my meeting notes, which is where I take notes from like my advisor meetings when I meet with um, other professors about this. I have an editing checklist, which will be filled in when I start getting feedback and then goals for my thesis, which I have not filled out yet, but the intention was there. So yeah, that's my thesis journal. Helps me keep track of what's going on in the old noggin. So I have this prepped for taking notes and I'm gonna hop into my meeting. I always get nervous even when it's an informal meeting with someone that I feel comfortable with. <laughs> this always happens. How you doing? Good, how are you? Meeting went well. I have a lot to think about as per usual, um, but I need to make some progress on my literature review and I need to get ready to go to the writing group. So I'm gonna pack up, head over there and start revising my lit review. Let's go. My number one tip for anyone with ADHD who wants to get something done is to body double. Find an accountability buddy. Find people who also want to get work done just side by side. You're not really interacting, but someone else is there. And something about that vibe, that energy makes it so much easier to get things done, which is why I started a writing group so we can all get together and provide some kind of structure for one another when we are largely left to our own devices for our research. So yes, find an accountability buddy, body double, get that work done.
It's Friday, which means that I only have three more days left until the submission of my thesis. So Friday was entirely focused on getting some writing done, just getting those words out so I can hit the page minimum. <laughs> I don't know about any other ADHD grad students out there, or even just like ADHD writers, but I find the hardest thing about getting this thesis done is getting myself to actually sit down and get into it. That's why I try to have some kind of ritual, like making a cup of tea, wearing my noise-canceling headphones, and listening to the same music playlist and lighting a candle to try and get myself to like slide into the task. But I also use my medication to help me focus. But like once I get myself there, I can do the writing, but I just find it really difficult to start, which has been a really challenging part of my master's degree so far. Here are all the things that I have done today to procrastinate writing my thesis. Gotten coffee and breakfast with James, graded my students' papers, brushed my teeth, had a meeting, and made TikToks. So, we are, we are taking this guy, even though I've already had a caffeinated coffee today and double dosing on stimulants is always an interesting time. Cause I need to finish this section of my thesis because it is due on Monday, which is tomorrow. I have not finished it. It's not gonna be finished and I need to like let go of that notion of perfectly finished and polished section of my thesis because that's not the point. The point is to get feedback. Also, I realize that this looks weird. I am supposed to take a half of a pill. It's just unfortunate that it comes in a powder form. I am at 19 out of minimum 20 pages and I'm overhauling my lit review right now. So by the time I finish, it should be somewhere between 20 and 25 pages, which is the requirement for today. The way we are approaching today's writing session, however, pull up my sleeves and let me share it with you. Very ADHD friendly, very anti-procrastination because it's also anti-perfectionism. So we're going to have three tiers of like accomplishment essentially. This first tier is going to be the bare minimum of what I need to do, which is write one more page, which gets me to the page requirement for my submission, 20 to 25 pages, I'm at 19, I need one more. That is the first goal. Like if that gets done today, Fantastic, I've hit a goal. Second tier, what I would like to get done is finishing my lit review. Not making it pretty, not making it perfect, but having a finished literature review. The ultimate place I would like to be at, like the big goal where I like give myself some kind of like reward for hitting it, is having a beautifully, not beautifully polished, but you know, like a polished introduction that has um, everything in it that it needs to have, not just like a disjointed intro lit review methodology, but like having everything integrated in a way that reads well. Those are the three tiers of accomplishment that I am hoping to hit on today. Um, so we have good enough, great, and fantastic is what I'll call them. I need to finish grading some stuff for my students first because they need my feedback for an assignment that they're supposed to submit on Tuesday. Then I will get started working on the thesis. My work buddy. Resetting passwords is fun. <laughs> I'm grading. What are you working on? Applications for grade school. to like give my professor or my advisor a facsimile of my thoughts 
so that they can help me organize it and articulate it better. Mm -hmm. That's the point of this. I'm just really frustrated because I feel like the thoughts are there, but they don't make any sense when I write them out. And it's also very clunky, the way I'm writing it. But like, that's how I usually start all my writing, is you just, I literally, I try to write in very um, plain language. This article said this. It relates to my thesis because of this. You know, and then later the interpretive, creative writing comes next. I'm just having a hard time getting all the articles to fit together in the way that I want them to. But this is one of the reasons why I like doing research and why I like writing, mm -hmm. because it's like a puzzle. But a lot of doing a puzzle is just like sitting there and looking at it. So while it feels like I'm not writing, I guess this is actually helping me process my thoughts a little bit. There's so much literature that I haven't read yet though, and my lit review is already so long. I think the other problem that I'm having is that I have this like, I'm using the lit review to kind of flow from theme to theme that I'm going to address and then ending with my theoretical orientation from the literature essentially. But I have this thing, this section called a note on terminology where I'm talking about the word vintage and why I'm like using the word kind of vintage just generally instead of like vintage style, oh. vintage fashion. That's it. I just, I don't know how that fits in, but it's really important. I don't know to put it, if I put it at the beginning of the lit review, at the end, if I integrate it. So. Just thinking. Just thinking out loud. Quick tip for ADHD students. I keep a little spiky roller ball at my desk so I can roll my feet on it when I need to fidget. I'm gonna stop procrastinating now. <laughs> It is 9.40 in the morning on Monday. I don't think I checked in last night at all about where the thesis is at. I basically don't have class all week this week, so um, I'm at home this Monday morning when I'm usually on campus. I do have to go to a Zoom class at 10.15, so I have about 35 minutes to spend a little bit of time with my thesis, and then I am going to be turning her in as soon as possible. We have to submit by noon. My class goes until 11.30. I am currently at about 6,400 words total, but that's with like everything in it. Let me see how much it is. It is currently, drum roll please. Okay, I'm at 62.22, so 6,222 words in total right now. 26 pages, including like the cover page and the uh, table of contents. So around 20, I'm gonna say around 22 pages with all like the extra spaces in between sections and everything. That is the requirement for submitting today. I need to clean up my citations because I haven't been doing proper citations. I've just been taking note of what citations need to go where. And then I'm gonna submit her. She's not pretty. The lit review is not done. It is just, it definitely needs, I keep on saying an overhaul. It needs to be edited like a lot. So at some point this week when I'm in the city, I'm planning on printing this out, editing it myself, and then also incorporating the edits from my advisor when I get those back. We have about two hours until the submission deadline, so I'm gonna work on those citations until my class starts and send it off to my advisor. So she's as done as she's gonna get, and it's time to submit her. I feel like I don't have enough sources and my literature review isn't, isn't like, She's not done, but I have a deadline. <laughs> so, I mean, like, she's done in terms of requirements, but she's not done, you know what I mean, right? Like, I've hit the page count, and I have all the sections here that I need to have, but my literature review just, like, isn't done, and I'm not happy with her, so. But I'm dealing with really abstract ideas, and so I'm having a little bit of a hard time, like, solidifying them and finding the language to make them more concrete. So I feel like I keep kind of bouncing from thing to thing, so I hope that getting into my case study in the next round of writing will help me kind of solidify that, if that makes sense, but let's submit her. So that's that. Let's take it over onto the couch 
and do a little recap, why don't we? I uh, walked away, which was my first mistake, and uh, got distracted for, I don't know, like an hour. And I do not look very cute today. My hair is so dirty. I have not washed it in, in a minute. We have a fresh cup of tea and a matcha cookie that I made last night that tastes like Play-Doh, and we're gonna recap this little experience. Also, my couch is a mess. Got clothes on this side and a stack of books on this side. All right, I'm gonna try to keep this brief. I honestly have no idea where this vlog started and what has transpired in the course of me filming it. I was just like, you know what? I have to submit a part of my thesis soon. I should probably document this and I didn't think too hard about it. <laughs> I've noticed that if I think too hard about the content that I'm making, it doesn't get made. My thesis has undergone quite a few iterations over the last couple of months. Um, I have really been uncomfortable with my thesis topic and been doubting myself and have not been happy with what I'm writing about and how I'm writing about it. So originally I was just kind of like updating the literature on, on vintage because it hasn't really been talked about a lot recently aside from like one book that was published last year but that was more of a um, Asia and Europe perspective, like global perspective, and had nothing to do with America. And as an American, I wanted to talk about vintage in America. I still wasn't quite happy with that because I didn't have like a strong theoretical grounding on what it was, like how I was attempting to interpret vintage. I didn't just want to interpret it the same way that other people had interpreted it before because that isn't really contributing anything new. I've been wanting to change my thesis topic for a while and I haven't let myself because I didn't want to abandon all of the work that I had already done on my thesis in favor of something that had the possibility of turning out like an ADHD hyperfixation where it seems really interesting and exciting to me simply because it's new and the second I start working on it it loses that kind of like shiny novelty excitement and I would want to change my thesis topic again. So this has really been a big practice unexpectedly in building my tolerance in responding or not responding to my ADHD impulses, which I totally was not expecting from doing a master's thesis. That being said, however, I did recently go to a conference about fashion archives and there was a particular talk by one of my professors, and I think I already said this, that really inspired me theoretically with my, with my thesis. So I slightly shifted the angle of my thesis. I'm still talking about vintage. I'm still writing about a current affair, but now I feel like I have a much more solid approach and intervention that I'm trying to make, even if my grasp on that intervention is a little tenuous at the moment. So I feel a lot better about that. I feel inspired. I'm excited, I'm enjoying reading, I'm enjoying writing. I was not expecting to have actually enjoyed this process <laughs> as much as I have been, especially because I wasn't enjoying it when I didn't have that really strong, grounded feeling of like a thing I'm trying to argue in my thesis. And now that I do, I'm finding approaching the literature so much easier, like the synthesis of, of my thoughts a lot more, not entertaining, but it's just, it's fun. It's difficult, don't get me wrong, but it's still, it's fun, it's intriguing, it's challenging. It's all the things that I like about doing academic research. So I'm really pleased with myself and with the experience thus far. The submission of my thesis, I'm not the most pleased with. I My introduction is a little disjointed. My literature review definitely needs to be critiqued and edited. <laughs> I'm also still trying to kind of organize the structure of my argument, and I, I typically do that through my literature review, so it's still, it's taking shape at the moment, and I think that it still needs to be narrowed in scope a little bit in terms of what I'm attempting to argue, because I have maybe like, three things going on when I should have at the most like two. But she is submitted. I'm not gonna think about her for the rest of the day, especially because I have other assignments I'm supposed to be working on. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I have really been enjoying getting to share this with you again. I've had a little bit of a rocky relationship with content lately, and as I feel like I'm coming back to myself, my interests and hobbies are also coming back to me, and one of those has been YouTube, and I'm just, yeah, I'm really enjoying this process, this whole thing. It's, <laughs> it's been good. I didn't start out the semester here, but I've been working hard to get to know myself better, and yeah, it's just, I don't, I'm losing my words, but I'm just, 
I'm happy, I'm enjoying myself, and I'm very glad that I'm getting to share it with you, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm gonna go now, before I keep talking and rambling and have to edit like 30 minutes worth of footage. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future master's thesis research videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.